What's up, what's up everyone? Welcome back to another video. Aficionado Carpools here with a blaster of the 2021 Panini Prism basketball product. This is actually the retail version of the Prism. This is the product that dropped in stores a couple weeks ago and that people were going crazy about it. People are still going crazy about this product. This product I was able to find in the second market at a pretty high price um, in my opinion. Um, but hopefully we'll be able to pull some nice pulls out of this blaster box here that I have in front of us. Um, this is gonna be my first look at this product. At least gonna be the first time that I rip this product. And we are gonna use this blaster box to do a little fun battle against YouTube channels. I'll be going against Fourth Quarter Steve, who also has a Prism Basketball Blaster, same product. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and battle it out. We previously had a fun battle between Don Russ Basketball Blasters. A lot of people felt like Fourth Quarter Steve took the win because he was able to pull a Lamella Ball. I actually had it as a tie just because I was able to pull a Rookie Auto. It wasn't the biggest of names, but nevertheless, it was an auto. Um, but a lot of people gave it to fourth quarter Steve and I was okay with that. I really felt like the battle was really close uh, But this is gonna be it. We are gonna go ahead and try to do a tiebreaker with this blaster box um, Hopefully this box is gonna treat me Really good. That's definitely what I'm hoping for just because this product right now. It's currently going in the secondary market everywhere from uh, 130 bucks um, up to 200 or over $200 in some cases. I believe that it's insanely high. Um, you know, 130, 140, it's what I feel comfortable with. But even then, from what I've seen from other people's uh, rips, I don't know if this product is really worth the hype um, and what people are paying out there for this product. My price was one that I felt was pretty reasonable. To be honest, it was high in my opinion. Um, but even then, you know, I didn't pay $200 for this box. So hopefully I'll be able to pull some nice pulls out of this um, blaster box. Hopefully a lamello ball that will probably get me close to what I paid for this product. Even though um, today I took a look at the prices for the Lamella Ball cards, at least for the NBA Hoops rookie, and that card is currently dropping in price, um, or at least the value is currently dropping. So, you know, hopefully um, Prism, it's not gonna be, um, it's not gonna be in that same, it's not gonna have that same issue when it comes to the value of his cards or any of the other rookie cards. So let's go ahead and open it up against, again, we are going against another channel, uh, Fourth Quarter Steve. His info will be down below. Uh, definitely check out his video. Uh, we are both gonna be ripping or opening a blaster box of this same product. And we are trying to decide who's gonna take the win this time. Uh, all right, so without any further ado, let's go ahead and get busy with this box here. You can see I'm definitely interested in pulling definitely the auto. Um, hopefully we can get a hot rookie auto from this blaster box. We also have the blaster exclusive prisms, which are either a green pulsar and purple wave. Um, I believe both of those, uh, definitely the green pulsar could be numbered. Um, I was able to pull a green pulsar of Ant Edwards from a blaster of the Panini Prism draft picks. Um, so that was pretty awesome. That card is currently worth $250. So hopefully this box is gonna treat us as good as the Panini Prism draft picks. And hopefully it's gonna give us the win against fourth quarter Steve. All right, let's go ahead and open it up. Also, as you can see right there, there is the information about the different cards and variations that we could potentially pull from one of these blaster boxes. 
pretty difficult um, just because you know this box only comes with four cards per pack and it's six packs per box so you know you're only getting what 24 cards in total from from a blaster um, so you know the odds are definitely against us uh, so any any hot rookies that we're able to pull especially if it's a green pulser or a purple wave will definitely be a great hit for us oh as you can see that pack looks all smooshed up in there hopefully that didn't damage the cards all right let's go ahead and see what we can find really worried about the all the packs all together just because look at that looks all mooshed up not sure if it damaged the cards in any way and what a bummer hopefully it didn't do any damage to these cards and to my pocket so definitely wish me some luck good luck also to fourth quarter steve all right so we start off with an rj barrett right here for us i'll go ahead and look at the cards real quick looks like that card has some crease and it's definitely super bent we are not starting off looking good definitely not looking good RJ Barrett card looks super damaged. Here we have a Paul Millsap. Here we have a green prism of Patrick Williams. This is the instant impact green prism. So not a bad rookie for us right there. Card seems to be in better condition than the RJ Barrett. All right, so pretty cool insert. And it's a good rookie. So that's probably giving me the lead so far. Here we have a Kevin Knox the second. All right. So that was our first pack. Let's go ahead and move on to the next one. So here we have a rookie of Isaac Okoro. Nice rookie right there for us. Isaac Okoro, card again, super bent. Hopefully once I put it in a, once I sleeve it up and I put it inside a top loader, um, it'll look a lot better and it'll, it'll take away that bent that we see right there. That is an issue with Prism altogether and Mosaic. There we have a Jeff Green. There we have a Green Prism, not a rookie. It's of Andre Drummond. And a Daniel Thies, or Thies. I think it's Thies. Not 100% sure. All right, let's see what we got here. All right, so we start off with a Tyrese Maxi rookie. Another pretty good rookie from this class. I believe we have our auto coming up. Or actually, it might be a memorabilia. All right, so it's an Elton brand. Philadelphia 76ers sensational. This is our memorabilia, so we, str we struck out with the auto in this blaster box. Let's see if fourth quarter Steve will end up pulling a rookie auto from his, but I mean, that doesn't guarantee anything if it's not a huge name, just because, you know, a lot of people felt like even, even though I pulled the rookie auto from my Don Russ blaster, um, a lot of people felt as he took the win just because of the LaMelo ball card. 
So hopefully if I'm able to pull some, if I continue to pull some nice rookies, um, I may be able to take the win. All right, so moving on to the next card, we have an emergent of Patrick Williams in this pack. All right, pretty cool. And a Miles Bridges. All right. Let's go ahead and open up the next pack. Start off with Devin Booker. Terry Rogier, Wesley Matthews, and a Jordan Clarkson. All right, so we're down to our last two packs. So we start off with Elijah Hughes for the Utah Jazz. All right, we have a JJ Barea prism right here for us. This is actually my first JJ Barea card. Huge fan of his. Card seems to have a little bit of damage or a scratch right there. There we have a Zeke Najee, Instant Impact. And a Steph Curry Prism. All right. So we're down to our last pack. Let's see what we got here. So we start off with Brandon Clark right there. I saw a little bit of purple back there, thinking that could be potentially our purple wave. Here we have a Landry Shamit. Does, I don't think it's a rookie, let's see. Nope, we have a Nikola Vucevic. Nikola Vucevic, purple. Wave Prism. Pretty sure this card is not really worth a lot. It is a beautiful card, nevertheless, but what's beautiful it's when they have value. And then for our last card, we have a Vince Carter. Vince Carter Prism right there for us with the Raptors. So this is when he was at his peak. All right, so let's go ahead and go through what we may consider the hits. So, <coughs> excuse me, so we have the Patrick Williams Emergent and we have the Green Prism Instant Impact of Patrick Williams. Pretty awesome. This is not a number card. Don't think we got our green pulser from this box. We did get the purple wave, but it wasn't a rookie. All right, so at least it's it's a good it's a good rookie, good name. Now for the rest of our rookies, we have for the prisms, we have Elijah Hughes. We have Tyrese Maxey, and we have Isaac Okoro. Card super bent. Look at that. And then we have for the instant impact base insert, we have a Zeke Najee. Zeke Naji right there. From the base, we have we have that Vince Carter prism. We have the Steph Curry and we have the RJ Barrett. 
second second year RJ Barrett right there again probably not gonna be worth a lot but we'll see We have the purple wave of Nikola Vucevic. No longer with the magic. Not numbered. And for the memorabilia, we got Elton Brand. All right, so I'm not really sure if I'm gonna be able to do it with this blaster. I think fourth quarter Steve has a better chance, um, but we'll see. Um, haven't seen a lot of good stuff come come out of these blaster boxes of course i've seen people hit lamella ball which is the the one player that everyone wants to hit um but even then we'll never know if any of these cards are gonna have the value that a lot of people expect but we will see all right so this was sufficient auto carpools here with a first look at the 2021 Panini Prism Blaster. Again, this is the retail product. Comes with four cards per pack, six packs per box. In my opinion, definitely not worth the prices that people are charging in the secondary market. I still wanted to get it just to be able to see if I could potentially get LaMelo Ball, but I couldn't do it. Now, I will probably buy another one of these if I can find it probably somewhere around $60, which is probably gonna be tough. But I guess we'll have to wait and see if the secondary market prices are gonna start dropping or if we get lucky by going to Target Friday morning and hopefully um, grabbing at least one of these um, from the shelves. All right, so again, thank you so much for watching. This was a Prism Blaster battle against Fourth Quarter Steve. Make sure you check out his video. I will drop his info down below. Comment, let us know what you guys think about this product altogether. Let us know who y'all think won this battle um, of blasters. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, definitely consider doing so. Um, drop a comment and give me a thumbs up. Thank you so much for watching. Hope everyone has a great day.